Hello guys, it's me, Jiggy Spice. I am finally coming to you with a build guide for Season 3, and this one is wild. We have named this build guide The Behemoth, because that is exactly what it is. If played right, there are very few things that can counter this build. It will shred heavies, medium and light all alike. And even healers need to be afraid if you're rolling up with this build. So let's get right into it. Alright, so for the gear, we are going to be stacking health and shirking heals on every piece. Ideally, the best in slot would probably be shirking heals, health and then flame conditioning. But uh, it was too expensive to start doing the, the chromatic scarab craft, so I was just doing the chromatic seal crafts. That is where you can guarantee two perks at 700 gear score legendary and the third perk will be random. So that's why I have thrust conditioning on this one. It's not the best perk. Uh, not the worst perk but definitely not something i was aiming for on my chest i have again health and shirking heals on this one i have enchanted ward which is okay also not the best again we want flame conditioning is going to be best in slot um it's up to you maybe you want to do two perk crafts and you do shirking heals and flame conditioning i opted to go for health because i'm just struggling so much to stay alive especially without a healer or in 1vx so i just wanted as much health as possible but if you want to just deal as much damage as possible, then obviously flame conditioning is going to be better. Um, for my gloves, these ones are going to be best in slot for this build. Uh, Leeching Shrapnel Blast. Uh, the reason for this, I'm going to talk about that first actually, because what brings this whole build together is the this amulet. You get it from the PvP track, and as you can see, mine is not fully up, uh, upgraded yet. But you see the center of attention, it increases all of your incoming heals by 50%. But it makes your potions 50% weaker. But this is still going to be extremely strong. Uh, and I'm going to explain why. Um, so because of Ankh, the heal we get from Shrapnel Blast, for example, is going to be extremely strong. Uh, that's what makes this these gloves actually best in slot for this build. Uh, for the pants, I also have Shirking Energy. You still want Shirking Energy when going light. That's going to be best in slot for this piece right there with Shirking Heal and Health and Shirking Energy. For the boots, we are going to run the Artifact Tumbler uh, boots. These one give you a pretty nasty <laughs> uh, buff here. Every time you dodge through an attack, it gives you Empower by 25%. It gives you Fortify as well, but it's not as uh, useful in Light Armor. And it also heals you for 200 health plus 2% of your max uh, HP. And then I'm going to change the last perk into Shirking Heals for this one as well. I just haven't been able to get the chromatic seals yet. For my weapon, uh, this one is not best in slot. I'm going to go for a fire staff with Keenly Jagged, Vicious and Flame Attunement. Um, maybe Empowering Fireball is better, but I think overall Vicious is going to give a better result, um, better overall damage and burst than Empowering Fireball. For the BB, we are of course running Pestilence, it's just way too good to pass up. The stacking, Disease and overall damage of this weapon is just it's insane and it applies to both weapons i don't know if that's intended if it's a bug that's going to get fixed but for now i apply disease with my fire staff with any attack i apply disease so it's just so strong you always have them at 50 percent uh, uh, healing reduction um, for this one we're going to upgrade the last uh, perk to be a gem slot and we're going to be putting a tier 2 ruby in there that's going to give you if I'm not mistaken, 20% more damage. For the ring, this is also best in slot ring. It gives fire damage, leeching and hardy. As I said, this is a full leeching and shirking heal build. We just want to get as much health as we can because we cannot rely on potions anymore. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure this is still best in slot 2. Maybe there are some new perks that I haven't looked into yet. But for now, I got this one from PvP track and I'm just using it because... I'm running a little bit low on gold and I can't uh, craft anymore. So this one is doing its job right now. It's a pretty good uh, earring with regenerating, refreshing toast and healthy toast. Um, an important perk is going to be healthy toast. Uh, healthy toast, the mana potion, somehow gets boosted by the Ankh uh, center of attention perk. So your health, your mana potion is actually healing you for like 2800 or something like that, almost 3000. So it's the same as the health potion. So you're basically just trading out your health pot. Uh, and giving that effect to the mana potion instead. Of course, mana potion has a lower cooldown, so actually you are getting better potions from the Ankh amulet. 
This might get nerfed or changed, but for now that is how it works. Um, another thing I want to talk about is I am going ignited rune glass in my armor. I actually put leeching glass in all of my armor and I was healing less than with the ignited. So what I'm concluding is that the leeching perk on my ring is giving me more health for my leech if I do more damage than if I just stack leeching rune glass. So I switched it over to ignited and now I'm actually life stealing way more than what I did with leeching rune glass. So that's a little bit strange, but that's how it is. For the heart rune, we're still just running uh, Bile Bomb. I haven't upgraded it yet, but uh, <laughs> this one is just so good. Especially for the influence races, I put this one out. I do the splitting grenades, which just applies 15 stacks of disease to everybody because it hits three times, you know, it's three grenades. So you put that into a clump, you spit on them, you disease the whole clump, uh, <laughs> throw some fireballs and pillars in there, and it's just, they melt, man. As long as my team is also doing good, you know, we stack it together with the gravity well and and all the damage from my teammates. So that is going to be the gear. I'm pretty close to best in slot for the build that I'm looking to build here. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. And yeah, you will see the results speak for themselves in the, in the montage later. For the attributes, we are. Uh, I'm just running with the new uh, constitution uh, food. That's the banana parfait. Uh, increases constitution by 48. So that's going to make our stat spread look like this. Uh, I'm running 150 constitution. You can run 200 if you want to. Like I said, this is a very difficult meta to survive in. Um, I'm switching between 200 and 150 depending on the content and who I'm facing. Um, but 150 definitely is going to give you more damage because you can put that much more in strength. Important that you go 350 into for that 10% extra ability damage. Um, and then as much strength as you can because it's going to make your BB hit harder. So that is our stat spread right there. And for our weapons, uh, for the fire staff it's pretty straightforward, almost the exact same as what I always run. Uh, we're not running Helios for this one because uh, it's still good, you can run it if you want, you can take away Scorch Earth for example and run Helios if you want to. I opted to not go for it here because I want to run Spell Focus. Uh, we're going uh, Pillar of Fire, Fireball and Burnout. Upgrading Pillar of Fire once, Spell Focus like I said this makes your uh, heavy attacks uh, cost no mana. They actually restore 5% of your mana on any hit. Uh, mana management is a little bit harder now that you don't get free mana every time you dodge. So uh, you are going to be running out of mana here and there and you can't always be chugging the potions because you know you can end up in a pretty bad situation if you chug that potion at the wrong time. The animation for drinking is pretty long and uh, there's a lot of melee players these days. <laughs> And in addition, like you just don't want to take unnecessary damage anymore, like before. Uh, you you got to play so much smarter now, you really got to avoid taking damage. Uh, we're going to give Fiery Restoration so that you your heavy attacks reduce your cooldowns by 10% on any hit. Uh, clear Mind so you get a 5% in power if you're above 50% mana. Fireball, upgraded one so it applies the, the burning or smolder dot if you hit somebody. We're gonna get Singe, this also makes your light and heavy attacks inflict smolders, uh, super good, always pick that one. Clear casting, after you don't take damage for the last 3 seconds you deal 5% more damage, obviously always take that one too. Spell Slinger, your fire staff abilities gain an extra 10% chance to critical strike. Um, I think this one is really worth because fire staff is a little bit start of crit in general, so you just, you know, crits are nice, you want to crit. Um, and this one, Flare, uh, gives your heavy attacks an AoE. Um, most people I think like that, I definitely do, I still run it. I haven't tested it lately if it's better to just drop it or not, but I still run it. I feel like uh, <laughs> it makes me more, it gives me more um, damage pressure for sure. Uh, and then profit of a fire god, while you hold the fire staff your critical strike chances increase by 15%. For the pyromancer tree we're gonna be going pyromania, all attacks deal 10% increased damage against targets with a burn or smolder, you're gonna be having that up all the time, so that's 10% increased damage guaranteed pretty much. Uh, heat up, dodging through an attack, because this is a shirking heal build, this one is really good, you're gonna be dodging through a lot of attacks, so you're gonna be applying those smolder stacks. You pretty much want to just make sure you have max stacks to smolder on a target at all times. 
So because of that, we're also going to go with Kindle. It just makes your fire dot last 20% longer, uh, less chance of it running out and you're losing your stacks on the target. For Burnout, I am going all the way for the big explosion. It's still so strong. I get kills with that all the time. I love it. Some people don't go all the way and instead maybe go for watch it burn. Um, I have so many other ways to apply Smolder, so I don't go for watch it burn in this build. And the haste, we want haste. Um, like I said, you want to avoid taking damage and haste is, uh, is a good way to, to achieve that. Um, one little comment about that. Uh, there is a new perk called... Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it basically makes you deal more damage to targets with haste. I think more and more people are starting to run that, so this perk might be something we change in the future. But for now, I don't think too many people are running it, so I haven't noticed this being punishing yet. I like having the haste, but that is something to be aware of. Alright, so for the BB, we're going to be running net shot, shrapnel blast and splitting grenades. We're going to be upgrading the net shot twice, not three times, because we're going to be putting this point over here in the incendiary burst. We're running fire damage on our ring, so you're going to get more value out of this dot than this dot, and it's kind of hard to have them both. Um, so we're upgrading the net shot twice. We're going to be getting future endeavors, basic shots reduce, uh, restore one stamina per hit. You can take this one away and put it into, for example, artillery. Um, I switch between these a little bit depending on the content that I'm doing. Like this is mostly an arena build. If I'm doing the open world influence pushes or something, maybe I will do artillery. Just giving me a little bit more damage since sometimes people are further away. But it's totally up to you. Uh, stamina is also really important in this meta. And if you are accurate and you hit all of your pellets, then this one is really good. Uh, for shrapnel blast, always upgrade it all the way. Uh, running gun, this just makes your reload less punishing. Like I said, you want to just try to not take damage. You want to be able to, to, to avoid melee attacks. They're so punishing now. It's very hard to heal back up again, even with shirking heal, because you have to actually dodge an attack. You can't dodge preemptively and stuff like that, especially against uh, ranged players. It's so hard. So yeah, we, ev everything that gets us out of uh, taking damage is a positive. We're gonna get ramp. The reload gives you a damage boost of four percent uh, for six seconds, maximum of four stacks. Um, then we're gonna get deep load. The last shot loaded into blown the burst will do 15% increased damage, giving you that extra burst when you're trying to kill tanky targets or healers. And we're of course gonna upgrade it to the ultimate to give us more pellets. Uh, on the chaos side, we're gonna be getting future planning using an ability that reduces all other ability cooldowns by four percent. This one is kind of mandatory. I feel like it's very um, BB feels very slow if you don't pick this one, so we're definitely going to pick that one up. Uh, splitting grenades, we upgraded all the way for maximum damage and maximum dot damage. And then lastly, we're going to get box shot, deal 10% increased damage to any target as long as you have not damaged them in the last 8 seconds. Be wary of that, it's a nice way to open up on healers and stuff like that. Make sure you hit that uh, initial shot, you know what I mean. And that's going to do it for our weapons. Speed on everyone, all of them are at six. Keep going guys, keep pushing. They're deceased, they're melting. Spectrum group. We live with it. Keep pushing all the guys. Big left. Okay, okay. Nice. Oh my god, that detonated. 
Everyone on point is deceased. Nice, nice. Big root. Big, 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 big. Still keep going on point, guys. Keep going on point. Why point? Why point? It's both on both sides still. Not point and not point. Both fall back. Both fall back. Alright, let's go. Yeah, we are. Ready? Ready? Grab? Yeah. Now. Grab it. Ready, ready, ready. We're getting a point. Point, point, point. 